I can't even make this up. And then he hits that. I'm gonna be giving you the best tips to become a better Warzone Solos player. I promise you, you're gonna find a ton of value in this. And if you enjoy it, make sure you drop the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications to never miss another piece of valuable content. YouTube, how we doing? How we doing? How we doing? It's your boy out here hopping in for one of the videos. You know, a spectator video. Hello, 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 hello. Hey, hey, hey. Hi, what's up? Today we're hopping in. We're gonna be spectating, and I'm gonna be doing my best to give you guys some of the best tips you've ever had in your entire career. Some of the best tips you've ever had in your entire career. And that's that's the plan. Alright? Okay, alright. <laughs> so we're hopping in. We got silver! Silver! Silver boy, right here. Silver. I, I'm gonna stop the accent. I'm, I'm really bad at this. Alright. So Here's the deal. A lot of you guys have been having some struggles out there. There's some flying cars out there in Warzone. I mean, Matt, give him a show. Go to go to go to go. Harry Ronald Weasley. Oh my God. Okay, we're going to the moon, boys. Let's go. Honestly, a lot of you are probably like, "Wow, this is shambles." Honestly, I agree. What is going on, dude? We got flying cars. We got this guy snippity snapping, clapping this other fella. I mean, I don't even know what's going on anymore, dude. Like, it, it, it is, it is, it is something else out here. So, Silva, crazy, crazy plays already. We're hopping in. This man is, oh, something else. He is someone else. The green arrow. Okay, maybe not. Maybe, nope, not the, <laughs> not the play. All right, so my man's picking up, what is that, like a stint or something off the ground. Seems like he knows what he's doing. I think we're in a pretty good lobby right here. I don't know the KD of the lobby. I don't know if Matt can look, Matt, Matt, at, at the end, show them the KD of the lobby so that we kind of get an idea of what's going on. Listen, I'm excited to see what goes on here. I, I listen, all right, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. This man's sitting middle circle. He hears uh, a smoke to his left. He could have easily fought that. He's just kind of pushing straight down this way. And let me tell you guys, we got to have a quick discussion. You guys know the best way to get better at Warzone off rip immediately is uh, is two things. One, aim training. And two, get a headset, dude. I don't know. I, what, why do people think that it's better to listen through the TV? Listen, it's all right. It's all right to be like a, a normal gamer and just like listen through the TV. That's okay. But if you're looking to get better, that's where things get a little crazy. And our boy Silva out here, I don't know if he, I don't know if he has a headset. I'm going to assume he has a headset because look at how he's slide canceling out here. And don't tell me or don't get me wrong, I I, I don't want to tell you that it's a good slide cancel, but it's a slide cancel. It's pretty decent. Looks like this man's got a guy up in front of him. I think a good thing right now is, yep, I was going to say, take the right-hand side, maybe get a little bit of cover. That way he's not running straight down the road in the middle. And, and the big thing is, is like when you're playing this game, especially in Caldera, you need to be playing for positioning. Everything in this game comes down to positioning. And if you get the right position, I'm talking missionary style, we are going to be in a good spot okay you need to make sure <laughs> sometimes i crack myself up man you'll be in a good spot as long as you take like high ground and stuff like that you'll be in a really good um <laughs> position hey yo <laughs> take me out <laughs> this guy this guy does pretty well he's got the guy on his right right there and he's keeping the high ground which is kind of what you want to see he does have a pretty decent gun the type 11 not a bad weapon i will say you know bruins still doing its thing but type 11 is pretty nasty there's some guns i'm probably going to bring you guys some class setups on the main channel here and there that i think are really going to blow your socks off because it's definitely worth it uh and we're going to be talking about some guns and 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 you know comparing some things that way you guys can begin to get a little bit better my goal with the videos that i produce on my main channel by the way if you didn't know Cough, cough, Matt, throw it in. Hey, by the way, did you know that I have a second channel where I post a raw, uncut Warzone gameplays every single day? No, you should definitely check it out. As always, you can find it in the description of the video. Enjoy. If you don't know, uh, yeah, hey, we have a second channel. So make sure to check that out. But right here, you know, like the big thing is, is we, we have the main channel where I want to produce high quality, valuable content. And that is exactly what you're going to see right here is, is hopefully I can f fill in the spaces on why this man does some things and what he could do better. Right now, he's got a guy on the other side of the house. He needs to stop being so gosh dang patient. Don't get me wrong. I think patience is great when you're playing this game. But when you know that there's a guy there, you may as well go for it. This guy's whipping out a, oh my golly day. All right, first, first things first, this guy's slow peeking. He's peeking whenever he doesn't have like any plates or anything. He needs to plate up. He needs to stop peeking without plates. I'm stressing out here. <laughs> Please put on some plates. 
let me tell you something that is going to change the way that you play warzone and it's going to get you so many more wins in gunfights this guy is something else he just kept ego challenging knowing that that guy was mounted up on the windowsill and that's a bad thing if you don't have a sniper you can't really fight that so you need to be bouncing around corners so this guy was sitting in a house okay but something's going to change the way that you play the game is after every single gunfight before you played up reload your weapon I was having a hard time figuring out all these pro players and how they kept getting into multiple gunfights. What is going on here? And the big thing that I noticed is that they always reloaded before they played it up. And the reason why is if you get caught with your pants down while you're plating uh, and you don't have any ammo, it's over with. But if you have ammo and you're in the middle of plating and someone shoots at you, you can immediately fire back at them if need be. And that's the big thing that people don't realize is it's a game changer when you start reloading before you played up such a big deal and that guy did it but the guy also forgot to play it up so that's kind of the issue now we have nash taters right here not mash taters nash taters he's from nashville tennessee i'm assuming uh and he's gonna be coming down here grabbing this man's money and remember you've got to wait about seven minutes at the beginning of every game here a and that is exactly what you're going to see out of a lot of these players is just playing super slow. But what I recommend to you all is just pushing in and getting as many kills as you possibly can. This guy got shot down below in the same building from that guy that shot the other guy. For the love of God, I'm going to lose my mind. Everybody just keeps speaking in a dumb way. You got to stop doing that. If you know there's a guy standing in the building and you're far away and he has the advantage, he's hitting all of his shots. Don't peek that. Don't peek that. Don't peek that at all. Get, get out of that position. Okay. Get out of that position. Get out of there. But anyway... A lot of people are just going to wait it out. What I recommend to you guys is just push for kills. Get better at the game. Get your your shots on. Obviously, not everybody's on PC, so you can't get Aim Lab downloaded. But get some kind of, you know, warm-up. And especially when you have an opportunity like you do in this, where you can just kind of push everything for seven minutes at the beginning of the game. I think it's like six minutes, 50 seconds or something. You may as well just do it. Land peak go crazy i know it might be annoying over and over to die but if you get oh if you can be okay with dying over and over i promise you you will slowly get better you will slowly get better you'll learn how to take quick gunfights you'll learn how to you know swap between multiple people when in a gunfight i promise you it's going to change the way that you play the game it's going to make you a better player and right here it looks like we've got nash taters just kind of waiting it out to see what happens here he's got a guy in that building he's got a guy that went on to the loadout he didn't pay attention to the loadout the loadout would have been an easy kill for him he took the kill that was inside the house and now there's just a guy sitting on the loadout that he has not even tried to attempt to shoot i he's not he okay the guy's sitting directly on his loadout and he's using it for cover so when nash ain't like when nash isn't aimed down he can't see it oh this is oh we did it oh my god the parkour here dude all right nash is running what is this a three line he sees the guy right there that's going to be the guy that was sitting inside i think the building over there so it's a good opportunity for nash to go ahead and kind of ease his head over i think he's he's a little too slow i understand why he's doing it he wants it to be less obvious that he's peeking his head over but in this specific scenario you just need to check and see if anyone's there and in that that, that's exactly what I'm talking about. When you ease over and you don't see anything, you're not going to see anything, especially if you're on like a 1080p screen or something like that. I'm playing in 1440p. I'm getting a 4K monitor soon because I want to see everything. I want to see all of it. And it's, yeah, don't get me wrong. It's an advantage. But, you know, like if I do this for a living, I may as well try and get every advantage that I can. It's not like I'm out here downloading hacks like half the people that are playing on 1080p. Just up, listen, you're paying $200 for cheats. Just get a better monitor, all right? And enjoy the game instead of sitting there trying to, trying to, ruin everyone else's fun anyway we're gonna move on past that what do you guys think about the flying car cheater by the way that's crazy so i want to get your opinion on this how do you feel about the way that the people play is there is there something specific and drop it in a comment down below what do you feel you need to improve on and if we get enough comments about something Maybe I'll cover that in a full video. That way you can begin to get better. I know a lot of people have issues with positioning, how to ride the circle, how to kind of rotate around the circle. And I, I try and cover that anytime I spectate. And hopefully we'll get some games that I, you know, I get a good gameplay and I can share that with you so that we, we get basically kind of like a perfect gameplay on what you all should be doing. And I think that would be fantastic. But what, what do you guys feel that you need help with right now the most? Is it just that you have bad aim? If so, we can cover that. 
Is it just that you don't know how to rotate? If so, we can cover that. Whatever it is, positioning, you know, like what guns do I use? Anything. I'm down to cover anything because I want to make you all better. I want to provide that value for you guys. And if you're down for that, make you sure that you subscribe to the channel right now. Just, just do it. You're going to love it. This guy, by the way, hasn't gotten his loadout because he's absolutely so scared that he didn't want to push the loadout. And let me tell you, that's the thing is, is you end up playing scared. You don't get your guns. You're running around with $3,000. This guy's just going to buy plates. Just go for your loadout, man. Like that's the big thing is you just go for the loadout. And listen, I know, you know, I'm up here, you know, talking from my, my, my high up perch off my high horse or whatever. But at the end of the day, obviously my KD is like a 3.5. I want to make you all better. And by spectating other people, I think that we have a lot of opportunity to do that. So this guy's running the NZ. He got it off a of ground loot, and it's really not like a crazy good gun. It's all right. They did give it a little buff recently because they absolutely destroyed it in a nerf that they had a while back. But in this specific scenario, this guy is just so slow, so meticulous that he's going to end up in a situation where he gets caught off guard by someone with a little bit more quick reflexes. I think in this scenario, we're spectating someone that either A, is playing way too scared, B, it's someone that's really tired, or C, it's someone whose mo motor skills just really aren't all there anymore. So probably someone that's quite a bit older. And I know a lot of people think that I'm being ageist for some reason. That seems to be like a thing that happens when I say motor skills are gone. But let me tell you, the overwhelming support that I get from other people that understand that this is me trying to help you out. And, you know, and we can work around that, by the way. There's workarounds for your motor skills and stuff like that. And a lot of it does come down to really your your input and, and, and things of that nature. Getting something like a scuff, if you have the ability, something that has like buttons on the back, maybe like Battle Beaver. I don't know. Whatever it is that will allow you to, uh, you know, have that additional bit that doesn't require you to move your fingers too fast. It's going to be very helpful. And we, we can definitely talk about that at a different time. But right here, this guy, again, being very slow, very methodical, not a lot that he's got going on. And he's just so scared that he doesn't want to push anything. He doesn't have his guns. And if he would have gone for his guns earlier, he would have been able to push some gunfights. Now, not to say that we know that this guy has some good guns, but look at how he plays. And listen, it is absolutely okay to play slow and play methodical, but... Whenever you're scared, it's different. You can't play scared. That is my biggest thing is playing scared is very different. If you're not playing scared and you're okay with playing methodical, that's okay. But this guy is absolutely playing scared. He's not willing to push over to even get his loadout because he thinks he's going to die. And if you play this game, always worried that you're going to lose, that is going to be at the end of the day, the reason that you can't get a win. I promise. Cause What's going to happen is you won't be able to hit your shots. Look at this guy. I mean, watch. I can't even make this up. And then he hits that. Like, <laughs> mans can't aim for anything. That is the, an exact situation where you can see that, you know, he got a very good centering there. A one-shot hit with a three-line rifle and a good snipe. But you can notice that he has no recoil control whatsoever. That's why you see a lot of people use snipers and just keep ADS and stuff like that. He got a great, great, and I mean a great centering on that. Got a good kill. And now he's got some guns, which is fantastic for him. He's got enough for a UAV, which is what I would recommend. Yep. And he's got enough for one more UAV so that he can grab it and hold it. Yep. Another UAV. That's what I figured. It looks like he's got a guy over down below him, but also a guy up above him. Now, the question is, with him being center circle, will he have the cojones to get his butt out of dodge and get the move on? Now, he is running around with the Bren in his hand. If he has a secondary that's like an MP40 or some kind of SMG, it's going to be better for him to pull that out and start running with that just because it's faster. You're going to run much faster whenever you have something like that in your hand as opposed to a heavier weapon like the Bren. There's just no reason to have that. Now, one thing, I, I cannot recommend this at all. Please do not go up to something like this where you're visible from all angles. You need to at all times, like I said earlier, keep a good positioning. This guy has, a, one, there's a, a gasoline can right beside him. If I'm this guy, I'm chucking it off the side. But 
he barely has any sort of head glitch even on that direction he's completely open to his right he's completely open to his left and he doesn't have any way of keeping cover there's a guy floating in which matt just just zoomed in on which is crazy which is absolutely crazy like there's so much going on around him and he doesn't realize it because one he could be on console so he's not going to have the fov but two he's just playing scared he's trying to get high ground on places that he shouldn't be getting high ground and in my personal opinion what he should be doing is trying to play up here if he can get this high ground right here he's fine to rotate the edge and stuff like that and and work his way into the mountainside but because there's such a difference in height across this map you need to always be playing for the highest high ground that you can what that's going to do is allow you to see everything around you but this guy instead of playing high high ground he actually just goes and puts himself in open spots it looks like right here he might actually be taking the opportunity to go up top which is a big big deal nope all right never mind never mind come on man just 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 go to the hill all right and he fell off <laughs> He's, this guy's got six spectators by the way i just want you guys to know i splatted the ground off rip that's what i did that's exactly what i did i didn't even i ah. You know, it's just, it just what I wanted to do. This guy's getting sniped. He's looking at his map. He's this poor guy. He just got high alerted. So he's got high alert somehow. Did you guys see that? He doesn't even have his loadout. How did he get? You see that? He just had high alert show up on his screen. This guy's getting sniped 100,000%. Look how slow he peaks. That's the issue. That's going to, oh, oh no. Because this guy peaks so slow, they're going to see his shoulder before he ever peeks out. And that can, in most cases, be why people die. That's why really you need to... Oh, that was a great shot. That was a great shot. For some reason, this guy's really good with snipers. I don't, I'm assuming he's on controller. So he's probably getting a little bit of aim assist because he has such a long range scope. Because what ends up happening is the farther away someone is based on the range of your scope, the less aim assist you get. Which means if you have something like a 10 times scope, you're going to get more aim assist on someone because it's closer up. It's really all about like what it, where it looks like on your screen. So like if this looked like they were within a certain distance as it would on, you know, say a, an assault rifle, this guy, then he's more likely to be able to actually like get aim assist on the enemy a lot of people don't understand how aim assist works and it sucks because you could really take advantage of aim assist no matter what your skill skill level is so if you take advantage of aim assist especially if you're on you know console it's going to be really really helpful for you because a lot of people on console think that it doesn't work but in reality i promise you it works it's just all about learning the little caveat caveats caveats uh, they come with it. There's a lot of problems that come with it. And if you don't know how to work around those problems, you'll end up in a situation where you think your aim assist isn't working, but in reality it is. I played on controller my whole life up until uh, the first year of Warzone. And I switched to PC only because uh, one, I don't go through through like a ton of mouse and keyboards uh, as I did controllers and controller analog sticks and stuff like that. I went through like Literally, I think I had a box of like 20 analog sticks for different controllers and stuff like that that I just kept hot swapping over and over because it kept breaking within like two to three weeks because I was, I, I'm just really rough on controllers because I, I have a tight grip whenever I'm playing. So that is where, uh, that's where I kind of had to switch over. Plus, it's just more comfortable for me for to play on mouse and keyboard. And personally, how I feel about it is I think that anything that shouldn't be an advantage for either controller or mouse can, mouse and keyboard should be fixed say like you know aim assist shouldn't be broken when someone when you get stunned on controller you shouldn't automatically lock on to someone when you get stunned on controller just like you know on mouse and keyboard there's a lot of like you know tracking left and right that's really helpful but on analog stick it's not i think there's a lot of things that people can point out that's better on mouse and keyboard versus controller but i think the big thing that we need to pay attention to is short range versus long range short range controller is going to be better long range mouse and keyboard is going to be better there should be no other uh no like no other play style changes based on mouse and keyboard or controller i just think it, they should do their best to make the playing field actually even that's my big thing and i don't get me wrong a lot of people are going to get upset about this in the comments but i think really just you know Keep a really good head about you. Make sure if you're going to have the conversation in the comments down below, really just drop a pros and cons list of each of those. This guy, again, just really sitting here 
not super interested in anything and that's what i was talking about is this guy's super scared really doesn't want to push anything and he's honestly like <laughs> probably gonna lose he, imagine hear me out hear me out and this is the reason that i i tell you guys just to push as much as you can and try and get as many kills and then play for positioning as often as possible this guy's now in a spot where if he would have played top up here he would have had a huge advantage on everyone down below yes he's in cover right now which is great fantastic being cover and things like that but you can't see really well the people above them because of the the ability for a head glitch and something like and, and stuff like that so if you're up there you can hide behind that fence and just wait until the circle pulls now this guy i knew it i i knew it this guy is gonna have to actually push over that direction and once he does he's gonna have to fly off or try and run up a hill or something like that and if he did that earlier he'd be in a much better position now there's eight people left including him and the big thing for me is that he's really not going to be able to aim this Bren. He's going to try and fight someone. He's not going to be able to aim the Bren. And his only option is going to be able to use that sniper because that's where he's he, he's getting the most shots. And that's actually where he's gotten his kills is the big thing. So what he needs to do is go ahead and take that positioning up top. Instead of playing scared, he needs to take that positioning. That I believe is going to be the problem with a lot of people's gameplay is that they play the whole game, they wait it out, they camp in a corner, they do everything they can just to survive as long as possible. And because they're nervous, they don't know how to take on an enemy. That's why you'll never really see me be nervous whenever I'm playing Warzone. Obviously, I I play it for a living and that's a completely different thing, but you won't see me be nervous while playing because at the end of the day, I have to remember it's just a game. It's just a way that, you know, I'll get more frustrated over anything, but it's just a game. It's just something that i need to continue to improve on and if you're nervous and you're scared to push if you're scared to get any kills then at the end of the day you're not going to be able to get that win you'll get second or third place but it won't be a win now this guy might just get a win handed to him and if that happens i'm gonna be super happy for him because honestly i would be super frustrated like very very unbelievably frustrated if if i waited the whole game in a building and got absolutely destroyed I'm telling you, man, uh, like you can just when, when I watch people because I've played for so long, you can just tell that someone based on the way that they play is not going to win unless they literally get a win handed to them in like a super easy way for them. And that's exactly what happened right there is this guy is not going to be able to get a win because he doesn't know how to play like literally doesn't know how to play the game. So you just got to work on getting better. Like that's the thing. If, if you're scared to improve, that's where you're going to fail. So we've got Crispy here. Crispy? I I'm so crispy. That's his name. <clears throat> so, curious to see, is Crispy waiting here with four kills? He had the same kills as our last guy. Can he, with four kills, take on a person that took high ground early, knew what they were doing, or is he going to lose? Honestly, the dude's laying here hoping that it's dark enough to where no one's going to see him. There's going to be a guy up above him. This guy immediately, I think, is going to lose just based on positioning. He, again, is a person that should have taken high ground, but absolutely did not take high ground. He's overthinking it. He is now overthinking it. I Okay, good, good, good. I thought he was going to push it. If he pushes this, he dies. Like, that's the big thing. If he pushes this, there's a guy up top. He's probably not going to win. That's, that's the big thing. Oh, my God. That guy just fell. I'm not making this up. That guy just fell into the hole and died. That's interesting. There's a guy up top who was just sitting in the storm. He's got high ground right now. He can easily just vibe out where he is, have no issues. But if this circle pulls up towards the top, Crispy dies. 99% chance Crispy dies. Wow. Man, it's it's like I know how this game works, dude. I'm telling you, it's it's wild out here. Crispy's got nothing. He's got no play here. He's got literally no play. He has to play this left side, which puts him out in the storm for a while. He's literally going to die to storm because he was too scared to push anything. He's not doing any slide cancels, which to me means that he doesn't know like how to play the game, really. Yeah, he dies to storm right here. I mean, that's crazy. 
That's literally crazy. Like, I called everything that was going to happen in this game. <gasps> there it is. There it is. Wow. Tell me I'm not going to be the best coach in the world, man. Wow. GG's. I mean, GG's. Make sure you subscribe for more tips. That's exactly it right there. Pay attention, baby. You're going to love it.